Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today we're doing another video in my series of skin conditions and today I'm going to do rosacea. So rosacea is a condition where your skin is really, really red. Maybe you have it yourself. So if you want to know more about rosacea, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos, all right? Okay, let's erase this face and start this video. I've got my base started, so this is just 2W. I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of my Maybelline Superstay Natural Ivory, especially over the brows. I'm just gonna make my, I'm just gonna mask up my face first. Now that that's all wiped out, let's go in with some um, True Tan from Mehron, just to lightly contour. Okay, before I begin, I want to do another disclaimer again. So today's um, video is for educational and entertainment purposes. I'm not here to diagnose any conditions. If you have any conditions that you think you might have, please see a dermatologist or a family physician. All right? Okay, so what is rosacea? Rosacea is basically one of the most common causes of facial redness. Okay, most people come with redness, mostly in the center of the face. Sometimes can be the cheeks, the jaw, or around the eyes as well. It is related a little bit to acne, so that's why sometimes we would call it acne rosacea compared to acne vulgaris, which is the normal kind of acne that most teenagers get. And sometimes it's quite difficult to um, uh, separate the two because sometimes rosacea can also present with little pimple-like bumps, okay, over the center of the face and sometimes can look a lot like acne. But the main thing that differentiates the two is that acne has these things called comedones. Comedones are non-inflammatory spots on the face, okay? Like your white hits and black hits, and you don't usually see those in rosacea. I'm gonna use True Tan to contour the nose as well. And I'm just gonna use a little touch of Uma Beauty, okay, just to deepen up this contour. I'm gonna get that too muddy. Okay, and what causes the redness in rosacea? Redness in rosacea is mainly caused a little bit of inflammation, but mainly it's the dilated blood vessels right underneath the skin. So if you think about it, rosacea is actually just a form of pathological blushing. Humans are the only animals that seem to blush, okay? Um, and why do we blush? Why do we get redness in the face when we're shy or guilty or um, embarrassed? I actually think that um, blushing is actually evolutionary conserved. It's, um, it's a trait for social animals like humans to show each other that we are you know, guilty when we do something wrong or that we're embarrassed when we do something we're not supposed to and it garners trust in other people. So I guess that's something that has worked its way into our genes and rosacea is probably just blushing gone wrong. I'm gonna go into my highlights with 070. And in addition to the redness, sometimes people get burning or itching, okay, around the face and the eyes. And this can actually be made worse by things like sunlight, spicy foods, and alcohol. These are things that trigger rosacea. Drag the highlight all the way up there. In addition to the redness and the pimples, Sometimes people with rosacea get what we call telangiectasis. I mentioned this in my previous video. These are small dilated blood vessels at the surface of the skin. And sometimes you can see that radiating out from the nose. And there is this more rather severe form of rosacea called a rhinophyma. And this is when rosacea goes on for many, many years. And the inflammation and the blood vessel changes causes lots of scarring around the nose. And this is what this is what you see in the caricatures of men who drink a lot of alcohol and they get this really bulbous, craggy looking nose, and that's called rhinophyma. And that's kind of like an end stage rosacea. Face tips are on and the face is snatched. So now I'm just gonna do my brows. Today I'm gonna do a rosacea but make it fashion look. So I'm gonna have red brows, very red eyes, intense red blush because it is a pathological blush, and maybe some, you know, red. So it's gonna be very red. Okay, so let's go into the brows. And I bought more 070 and this time in a little pot. Going for a really big blown up brow today, I guess. So not everyone with facial redness has rosacea. 
you really need to see your dermatologist if you think you might have rosacea because um, things like acne, you know, eczema, allergies, this other condition called seborrheic dermatitis, okay, all can give you facial redness as well. So if you think you might have rosacea, you might want to see a dermatologist. Aspen, translucent. I'm gonna work top down today. I'm gonna to start with the brows. I'm gonna use a red from the Stacey from the Be Perfect Cosmetic palette called Inferno. Okay, I'm just going to color that in. Bright red brow. And we're going back in with uh, 070 to just, just a minimal tune. And now with my packing brush, I'm going to go in with the same Inferno, okay? And I'm going to pack on a huge wing here. Okay, starting in the outer corner. Okay, so there's probably a large genetic component to rosacea as well, considering the theory that it's an evolutionary conserved trait. Okay, but um, we know that the inflammation, the mechanism for rosacea itself, probably involves some very distinct inflammatory pathways. When we look in the skin, we see increased signaling for things like the toll-like receptors and also this antimicrobial peptide called catalysidin. Okay, and this also um, ties in with another theory that it's probably related to the microbiome as well. Okay, like acne is um, associated with this bacteria called Cutibacterium acnes. Um, rosacea has been associated with other uh, microbes such as the demodex mite. We're looking much more into the microbiome and the microbiome actually is uh, basically all the bugs that live in and on your body. The gut microbiome might have a role in the inflammation in the face and that's really interesting. There's still research going on about how the gut microbiome might affect inflammation elsewhere in the body, so stay tuned for that. When they look at patients with disordered gut microbiome, like for example in patients with in inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease or irritable bowel syndrome, these patients seem to have a higher incidence of rosacea. So maybe in the future, probiotics might be an interesting way to treat rosacea. Okay, so I've packed on the red and I'm just going to wing it out at the end here. Now I'm just going to wrap this red all the way around the eye. I'm going to just go into the bottom and slowly build that up. Okay, so that that which is there. And bring it in towards the inner corner. I'm going to go in with reckless right underneath this red. I think I might go in with some dance party, which is this fuchsia from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I put that in between these two colors, just to give it a little bit more of a gradient. And bring that into the corner. Okay, so wrapped all the way around the eye. In this smaller brush, I'm going to blend the edges out with um, Pep Talk. And then with sugar pill taco, I'm just going to highlight the underbrow and blend that into the pink. Okay, we're going to deepen up the, the outer corners now with some black using Temptress from Jaclyn Hill. Work that into as a ring. Drag that into the pink. Sure that's blended. Okay, and in a small pencil, you're gonna bring that onto the outer part of the lower lid. And see, let's blend it up with a dance part. Right now, I'm just gonna cut the crease with some clown white. Let's bring that down. Going back into the red inferno, let's just bring that into this actually the pink at the top. Blend that into the white. All right, now liner.
Wanted to make this fashion, but in the end, it's still very drag. All right, I'm just gonna clean up around the eye and probably extend the liner a little bit more and be right back. Just added some liner to the bottom of my eye and darkened it up a little bit. So now we're gonna contour the ABH contour kit today. I haven't used it in a while. Get a darker shade. So it's a treatment for rosacea. In addition to avoiding sunlight, alcohol, and spicy foods, which are, which are the main triggers to rosacea, sometimes you need to give antibiotics. And antibiotics in this case um, have both an anti-inflammatory and an antimicrobial um, action. So something like tetracycline sometimes help in patients. And they need to take this for, you know, several months. It's not the best treatment because we don't really like to give too much antibiotics for a long time because that really messes up with your microbiome. Right, so um, we're always looking for better treatments for rosacea. Other common treatments for rosacea is topical metronidazole. Okay, so this is another antibiotic, and this one you put it right on the skin, and sometimes this is enough for patients, so we don't need to give them the oral antibiotic. And other topical treatments like azelaic acid, which is also helpful in acne, can be given to rosacea patients also. And this has some antimicrobial actions and also sometimes stops the clogging of the pores, the acne, the hair follicles. Contour the nose. Dragging this red down a little bit. And I'm just going to reinforce the bake a little bit and try to blur out this um, here with some Laura Mercier. Okay, I'm just going to put that, pop that into the areas of bake like that. Right up the side of the nose so that snatches the nose a little bit more. So other treatments for rosacea include things like um, medicines that can constrict the blood vessels, so vasoconstrictors. This works in some patients, but it's quite irritating and really expensive at the moment. So it's not something that, you know, we tend to use a lot. Ivermectin, which is something that kills parasites, has been also been used successfully in rosacea. And there's some topical formulations of that too. For bronzer today, I'll be using Leader. Okay, it's a little bit more of a reddish bronzer. It's to knock off the bake a little bit. Blend that into the contour there. So you get this nice blended look. Okay, and if you can see, I'm just working my way towards the blush. Okay. So hopefully this goes well and I don't mess everything up completely. I'm gonna go in of course with my clown blush circus. Okay, let's start that. At the top of the cheek first. So wrap this around the temple. It's not, not extremely pigmented. Okay, let's be brave. I'm going to use eyeshadow as blush. Alright, so back to Inferno. Let's bring that down in the cheeks here. This has to be very, very red. Okay, and the nose. Right across. Rosacea realness. Okay, and then I'm going to add some orange and pink. Okay, the pep talk and lip. Just to give that some extra color. Alright, and this also goes around the mouth. The corners of the mouth. So if you think about it, um, makeup is actually trying to emulate these certain characteristics that, you know, people find attractive. And blushing is an attractive feature because that makes you look innocent and pure. So rosacea is actually the extreme of this. And I guess drag being an extreme of makeup, you'll be giving yourself rosacea all the time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just blending the red. I'm gonna maintain my highlight, so I am going to just pop into some sugar pill taco and just brighten up this here. Okay, and now for lips. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a nice red lip. So for people with rosacea, um, makeup actually also helps to counteract redness. So according to color theory, um, using green tinted moisturizers actually help to cancel out the red underneath the skin. So that's why color correctors come in green. All right, I'm just gonna complete the lips, throw on a lash and come back with a finished look. And this is my rosacea, but make it drag. 
I finish up my lips and I use the Suva Beauty White Liner to draw these Talon G Actasias, the dilated blood vessels you see in rosacea, and stuck some gems on here to represent the papules that you get in rosacea. And I've got some nails on, and this is rosacea. Is there any other skin condition that you want me to do a drag version of and do a little tutorial here? Leave it down in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload one of these crazy new videos, all right? All right, so this is rosacea. If you have some facial redness that you think might be rosacea, get a dermatologist to check it out, all right? Okay, bye. Check out my other videos.